Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've been showcasing a plugin lately. It's called Divi Image Hover Effects and it's great. You just add an image and you can do all these fantastic hover effects, text to image and image swap. I think there's about 250 of these animations that you get with it, including image swap here down the bottom. And at the moment, they've got it on sale for 15 bucks from 49. I'll put the link below if anybody wants to use that. But today I'm going to show you how to build a few of them uh, from scratch. We've been doing these things. And some of these you can build from scratch just using the inbuilt features of Divi. Um, because the, the build has come so far. We're not going to use any coding today. This is all the inbuilt features. And today, let's build this sort of image swap slide right. So when you hover over your image, it slides to the right and reveals another image right there. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. And I'll just add a new row below this green button for the row. And I'll make it three columns. Okay, well, let's choose the image that we want to have sliding to the right. And to do that, we'll use an image module. Divi comes as standard with all these modules. You get an extra 12 or so as well if you've got WooCommerce installed. But today I'm just looking for the image module there it is right there I'm gonna go into there and let's choose an image which two shall we use okay for the slide right image let's use that one so we've got our image in there now great now we can go through there's really not much else we want to do if we want to make that image link to somewhere we can do here if it's on the same site, you want it in the same window. If it's on a different site, you want it in a different window. But we're not going to use the light box or a link today because remember, our image is going to slide and disappear and we're going to reveal a different image underneath. And again, design wise, there's not a lot I want to do. Alignment, it's where it is. Sizing, we don't want to change the size or spacing. I'm happy with everything that's there. You can put a bit of border or box shadow on if you want to. But I'm going to leave mine just as a plain image, just like that. Now, if I hover over this, you'll see that's got a little number six that pops up there. That's actually the name of the image. And if you don't want that to pop up on the image module, let's go over to advanced. We'll go to attributes. And as you can say, see, that's the title. Just take it out of there. Just delete that. And image alt alternative text that should be a description of the actual image itself but a lot of people use it for SEO purposes and we'll put in keywords and geolocation data and stuff so you use that as you will but uh, really it's for a description of the image all right so we're happy with that image we've done everything we want for that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our row and I'm going to go into the column we've got three columns one two three and obviously, if I just slide this out of the way, one, two, three. So I want to put an image in the column here that will be revealed when this one slides out of the way. So it's column one. Simply going to go down to background. Going to hit image. You've got color, gradient, image, and video. Obviously, I want an image. And we'll make that one fade to the studio picture. Okay, it's in there now. You can't see it because this one's on top. So I'm going to save that. I'm not going to change any of these cover, center, or repeat things. I'm mean, pretty happy with that. And as this one is the one that's going to be revealed when this one slides out of the way, if you want to link this one, you can do. Put a link in there. And when this one slides out of the way, you can have that one linked to any way you like. And again, obviously, if it's the same site, same window, if you're linking to an external site, you'd want to put that in a new tab. 
Okay, so we've got our new images all in place now. We've got our image module here, and behind it, you can't see at the moment, the column that's in the row has a studio image. So let's put this one where we want it. Now, when we're hovering on it, we want it to slide out of the way over here. And when we're not, we want it to be in place there. So let's go into our module. I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go down to transform. And the second one along is translate, which means move, basically. Now this is common to most DV modules. If you go over the dark lensing, the black writing there, these icons will appear. If you've got an arrow one, then it's going to give you an option for desktop and hover. Desktop is when your mouse is not on it. Hover, obviously, is when your mouse is hovering over it. So when it hovers, I want this one to move out the way and reveal the image below. So let's uncheck this because I don't want the horizontal or the vertical to change. I just want to change the horizontal. This is the vertical right here. So let's slide this one. See how far we've got to slide it to get it out of the way. Let's try 450. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Let's try 320. Almost. There we are. That's going to be fine. You're going to be able to see your whole image there. Remember, we only want it to be out of the way there on hover. When it's on desktop, we want it to be where it is right now, zero. And the time it takes to actually go from there to here, let's make that about a second. By default, it's going to be three hundredths of a second, which for me is a little too short. So if we go to the Advanced tab to Transitions, let's take that duration. I'm going to make it about a second or thereabouts. Don't want any delay. I'll change it to ease in, ease out. Play with these speed curves and you can come up with some great effects. Ease in, ease out, sort of rushes, then slows. And then when you take your mouse off, it'll rush and then slow again, which is I think is a nice effect. But play with them and make whatever effect it is you want. So I think we should be pretty much OK there. We're going to have one problem and you'll see it when I save. If I say this and hover now, when we hover over it, this top image is going to slide to the right and you're still going to see it. And we're going to use a tiny bit of CSS to fix that in a moment. I lied when I said we weren't going to do any coding, but it's one line and I'll put it below the video. Let's save the draft and exit the Visual Builder. Go down to our image and when I hover over it, great. Well, it's kind of doing what I want it to do. But I don't want to see this image here. If you want to, that's another great effect right there. And you can still have a link or a light box on this image. But if you want to, just leave it as it is if you want to keep it there. But I want it to, once it goes outside of this box here, I don't want to see it. And to do that, what we need to do is go into our column and just put one little line of CSS there, overflow hidden, which means anything overflows from the box, you're not going to see it. So let's enable our Visual Builder. Let's go down to where we were working. Now I'm going to go back into the row again, the green tab. I'm going to go to that column again. This time I'm going to go to the Advanced. And I'm going to go to Custom CSS. And in the main element, and I'll paste this down below the video if anybody wants to copy it, but it's a really simple line of CSS. I'm going to say Overflow colon hidden semicolon and what that's going to basically do if anything overflows from this column either goes down left right top you're going to not see it it's going to be hidden so let's save this now and our slide right should work perfectly All right, let's go down and try that out now. Now when I hover over it, it'll slide to the right, but it'll disappear as soon as it gets to the end of the image there, or at least should do in theory. Let's try it. There we go. As you can see, the overflow is hidden, so when it stops, you're not seeing anything there. So that's a great little image swap effect. 
So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.